And a Senate committee is putting U.S. aviation under a spotlight today amid rising close call safety incidents that the NTSB chair warns are a wake-up call to the nation's carriers. Laura Geary has more from, the t from today's hearing. Our safety system is showing clear signs of strain that we cannot ignore. A dire warning about air travel as millions prepare to fly this coming holiday season. The head of the NTSB, joined by other leaders in the aviation industry, testifying before a Senate subcommittee Thursday as national close call incidents tick upward. The NTSB has opened investigations into seven runway incursions this year alone. Incursions where planes often came within several hundred feet of each other. In Houston two weeks ago, two small jets actually collided on the runway. There were no injuries in these recent events. However, zero has to be the only acceptable number. Under staffing, the FAA requires mandatory overtime to our control workforce, including regular six day work weeks and 10 hour days. This leads to fatigue. The Air Traffic Controllers Union president says only six fully trained controllers were hired over the past year. The FAA must adopt the updated and more accurate operational staffing targets. Our agency's staffing and funding levels have remained somewhat stagnant since 1997. All critical issues that could worsen if the government fails to avoid a shutdown in eight days. That would force the FAA to suspend hiring, close its training academy, delay the pipeline of new controllers, delay modernization, which would be a catastrophic impact to the national airspace system. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting.